when it comes to the garden, there are, how shall I say this, certain creatures that are more welcome than others. And the mesmerizing hummingbird makes the invite list every single time. My first guest has been watching the greenhouse closely to see what flowers are most likely to attract these beautiful buzzing birds. Jessica Barrett is the horticultural manager at the Ashton Gardens at Thanksgiving Point. Welcome to Studio Five, sister. Thank you. We're under this beautiful shaded canopy and you have some, like a hummingbird feast in front of us, but you have been doing some real life observation. Yeah. What have you noticed? What have you taken in? Yeah, so you'll see lots of advice on the internet about what kind of plants hummingbirds are attracted to. Yeah. But for my own self, I decided to just go check it out. So. Um, the plants I've brought with me today are all plants that I watch the hummingbirds go after. In you the were in the greenhouse mm -hmm. tracking these little fellas, yep. and these were the ones that really pulled them in. Yeah. You've broken it down into a formula, and you say it really does start with choosing the right color of flower. Mm -hmm. They like red. Yeah, hummingbirds are attracted to red. That's why you'll see, like most hummingbird feeders that you find at the store are red. Listen, I am so naive. As I picture a hummingbird <laughs> feeder, yes, it's always red, but I never stop to think about why. Yeah, so in the past we used to dye the nectar red that we fed them, but then we found out that wasn't such a good idea. So now the containers are red, yeah. um, but they are attracted to red. So definitely you're going to want to include some red in your garden if you're trying to attract hummingbirds or, you know, in your containers if you're trying to do that. You say it's a certain shade of red, a certain hue of red. Most reds will work. Okay. Um, there are some red flowers that they can't really actually get nectar from. Mm. But if you have those red flowers, you will be bringing them in. And as long as you have some stuff for them, to enjoy feeding on, yeah. then they will stay. So salvia is a flower that you've noticed yes. they like. So I, the, salvia comes in a lot of different colors, but I have brought some red here. This is a red salvia. Mm -hmm. I've also got a purple salvia here, and this is also a salvia. And salvias can be perennial or they can be annual. They're two different types of salvias, and hummingbirds love them all. They are equal opportunity salvia lovers. Yes. Not just the color, but it's the shape of that flower also that pulls them in. Yeah, so if you look at these flowers a little bit, you'll see that they're kind of on tall stalks, mm -hmm. which helps the hummingbird get in and actually reach that flower. And they're kind of like different um, trumpet kind of shapes. They hold nectar inside. Okay. Kind of got some star shapes. Yeah. And um, like these blue ones have kind Listen, of. Listen, we don't want to call them shape. lazy, but they're busy enough keeping themselves in yeah, the I mean, air. They're like hovering in the air. So make eat. a dinner plate that feeds right to them. So tubular or trumpet shaped flowers. Yes. A couple of those that made your list, zinnia. So zinnia is actually kind of the exception. This is a zinnia, and it's more of a daisy shaped flower. Okay. But there's a lot of nectar in this flower, uh -huh. and hummingbirds love it. Okay. And they also, can reach it. Also, penstemon. Yes, penstemon. I've got over here this bright blue one you okay. were looking at. Yeah. So you can kind of see how they can reach their beak down into that trumpet shape and get the nectar. So we've touched on a couple specific flower varieties. Run us through a full list. So this right here, we've got pentis. Okay. We've got a Russian sage, which a lot of people don't like, but this one is a dwarf variety that's a lot easier to grow in your yard. So okay. Russian sage is okay. Canna? Canna is this big, beautiful one over here in Look the container. Look at that, wow. Um, and these come in different colors. This is kind of a salmon-y color. Okay. Uh, this canna, they love cannas. And since you brought us over to this gorgeous container, this is sort of the hummingbird feast. Yes. Walk us through what you've packed in here to attract those buzzing birds. Absolutely, so we've got plenty of red to bring them in. Mm -hmm. um, all of these flowers in here are flowers that hummingbirds are gonna love. They can reach in to these shapes. This is a pentis. It's kind of a star shape. They Pretty. They get their beaks in there. It's a pentis? Pentis, That's yes. That's beautiful. P-E-N-T-A-S. Yeah. Uh, this one back here is called Crocosmia, and it doesn't have a flower on it yet, but it will. Okay. So this is always a good idea to have in your garden. The flowers will come later, maybe when some other stuff's fading. Uh huh. And it's red. They love that too. The only things in this container they're not interested in are these pretty leaves over here, but that's just for design. That's for you, that's yep. for me, that's for everyone else who just wants to look and enjoy. And that is such a gorgeous container. And I love the challenge of like putting all these strategically selected flowers into one pot, into one container, putting it in a, in a strategic place in the yard and just sitting back and watching yeah. the creatures come. This is a sun container. Mm. This container, all these flowers need a lot of sun. Yeah. So if you're trying to attract hummingbirds with flowers, you do need a sunny area. A sunny area. Mm -hmm. And we think of hummingbirds, or at least I do, as sort of an aesthetic 
effect. Like they're cool. Wow, you know, this bird is coming. It's part of my garden. It becomes this living, breathing thing. But there's some what? Bio eco benefits to them as well. Absolutely. They're a pollinator, just like our butterflies and our native bees. We love attracting hummingbirds. They help the plant biologically to reproduce okay. by moving that nectar or moving the pollen from one plant to the next. Jessica, thank you for doing the research for us and letting us know. Uh, you see on your screen a complete list of hummingbird friendly flowers. We're going to post that list for you on our website if you're interested in enhancing your garden midsummer and welcoming in the mesmerizing hummingbird as part of your aesthetic of peel. Also, where can we go to get more gardening advice from you? So I'm on Instagram, plant.geek, and I'm also on LinkedIn. Plant.geek, that's a compliment, right? Yeah. Self-appointed self title. Absolutely. But one that we <laughs> shake our pom-poms at. We'll link you over to her Instagram from our website as well. Great job, Jessica. Thank you. Thanks.